Okay, so we're back for game three. Um, <coughs> with uh, Teamer Aggro versus Green Black Devotion slash Whip. This hand is pretty gross. Um, we're on the draw. I don't like this hand. I don't think it does anything relevant fast enough, so we're gonna mulligan. That's just too slow. This hand is also a mulligan. This hand is keepable. It's actually very good for a five. Temple's just looking for lands. Man, every single time. Actually, not every time, but often. Don't need another Polychronos. The first one is not likely to die that quickly. And we also need to be able to cast the first one, so we need to find another mana source. Ah, oh, Brain Maggot could be a problem. Uh, Josh and I were just talking between matches about how Brain Maggot is not that great. But in this situation, it's pretty sweet when I mold to five and have only one two-drop creature. And no burn spell to rid of it. Knuckle Blade was a good draw. It's most likely coming down next turn to uh, block up the ground and kind of give me some support. Commune with the gods. Reveals carried in. Sylvan, or carried Eidolon and Doomwake. I'm gonna go ahead and dock the chat here. Uh, grabbed the Eidolon. That's fine. Um. So this looks like it's a very constellation based draw from Josh, as opposed to a devotion based draw. Uh, that was a reason. That was reasonable. If I play it face down and draw a land, I'll have access to six mana, which is enough to knuckle blade and teamer charm. And if I don't, I'll be able to flip it face up and cast. Polychronos or Knuckleblade plus haste. I think that's better than just running Knuckleblade out there. Uh, seeing as the Rattle Claw is functionally the same this turn, because it blocks Josh's ground creatures. was not the land I was looking for, but I'll go ahead and unmorph and because of the way Josh tapped, I'm pretty sure he has um a murderous cut, but no, he has sixed. I'll give knuckle blade haste. And we'll attack with both. If Josh wants to trade his Brain Maggot for the Elvish Mystic, or for my Rattle Claw, that's fine. I get the air back. Okay, cool. So, no Murder's Cut. Um, I guess he just left the Learn More Waste up in hopes of drawing one off of the Eidolon trigger, but then didn't. Courser would be frustrating here. Um, but. Doesn't look like it's a thing. Doomwake Giant would not be good. Another Eidolon? Yes, draw two. Commune reveals what? Mystic, Maggot, Karyatid, Farica. Uh, grabs a Maggot. Declines to attack. That was a reasonable draw. Um, 
I'll fetch, uh, probably a green source. Yeah, we'll get a forest. Um, cast the air that he knew about. So we have zero unknown cards at this point. Okay, the climbs to block, that's fine. I'll keep up the teamer charm for uh, possible possible counter spells or um, or such things. Uh, brain maggot is a problem. But I think we just let the trigger resolve. Josh didn't sequence those precisely. You want to draw cards before the trigger resolves so that you have more information. Okay, so Maggot takes Team or Charm, which is fine. Uh, we're getting Hornet Queened. Sure. No blocks. Go ahead and fetch. Cast Polychronos. Now we get a mountain. Um, next turn I can fight the Brain Maggot. And then team or charm for unblockable to win the game. Unless Josh has a a Doom Wake Giant. That's fine. Um Yeah. If he draws into a Doom Wake Giant, uh I'm in some serious trouble because Team or Teamer Charm cannot deal with that guy. But anything, literally anything other than a Dubuque Giant or a Murder's Cut. He probably has one of them. Although uh, one Cut and one Giant are already in the bin. Uh, looks like a Giant. Okay. So it's not good. Even now if Josh has like another enchantment, my heir is dead. Uh, if he has a murderous cut, which he likely does in those 10 cards, I just don't think I can get there. Courser. Okay, so my heir of the wilds is dead. And he has a murderous cut. Yeah, we'll just scoop. That's uh that's not going anywhere. Alright, so we're bringing in charm, nature, stroke, stroke, and three hunts. And keeping all the burn out. I definitely want two satyrs out. But now the question is do I want the other two satyrs or two phoenixes out? I think the answer is I want two phoenixes out because it's pretty good, but it's quite slow. And um, I want satyrs as a way to like attack into Doomwake Giants and such. Just power through those guys. So we'll go with two of each and submit. I'm disappointed that I haven't been able to cast a back to nature yet in the first two and a half matches. But maybe we'll draw in this game, maybe we'll draw one in the next few matches. So. 
we shall see. Let's, uh, I would like to play first. Um, if we draw one more land in two draw steps or a mana dork. Land or mana dork in two draw steps and this hand is great. I will keep. Even if we don't, we can still hunt or stroke, so it's not the end of the world. I'll play the forest. Being able to curve Air of the Wilds into Savage Uncle Blade is one of the best things you can do in Standard right now. Um, also Herald into Anifenza. But... Okay, so that was not what I was looking for, but... We still have, like, maybe two more chances? I guess, to draw something. sure. Okay. We uh, we got there, but it's tapped, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna uh, we'll keep that on top. We want want access to some some more mana at, at one point in this game. We will like we'll eventually need the fourth land. So even though we have a really really tight draw right now. Having the fourth land is going to be good against, like, if we draw Polychronos or if we want to play Knuckleblade in haste. So. No Courser. Possibly an Eidolon, possibly a Whip. If it's a Whip, then I'm just going to cast Knuckleblade and Bash. Okay, it's a Commune. But Josh was fetching first, which seems weird. Uh, commune totally whiffs. That was just an awful, awful Commune. All right. Let's see what's on top before we go making decisions. I don't think I want that. I have enough threats. I want more lands or more interaction. Uh, red, blue, attack. Knuckleblade, one thing Knuckleblade is really good at is fighting Doomweight Giants with Hunt the Hunter. <coughs> or Teamer Charm if I can pump, but I don't think that's likely to be happening. Alright, this is Doomweight Giant, right? Murderous Cut. Okay. That's not a bad draw. Um, so we can keep attacking and hold counter magic up because we have charm and stroke. Or we can just play the knuckle blade and bash and then have all of our interaction up next turn, which is, that's the line I like. Actually, I lied. I like casting the knuckle blade, not hasting it, and keeping disdainful stroke up. That is the uh, the line that I like. Um, just in case weird stuff happens. Ugh. All right, murderous cut is happening again. Um. That will be be getting struck down with disdain. Um, gotta make black. Okay. I believe Josh is going to target the Savage Knuckle Blade. Yes. In an attempt to fizzle the Ferocious Trigger, but I'm just gonna disdain full stroke that. Don't even have to pay life with mana confluence because of this Urborg. Alright, so that doesn't fizzle. Uh, doesn't Josh doesn't have another cut. We should be 
very well off here. Oh, that's good. That's good. No Hornet Queen is very good. Gets Forest. So uh, we're extremely well positioned to win this game. I'm just gonna not gonna bother doing anything. I'm just going to attack. All right, block happens. So now, um, now Teamer Charm can uh, can give me a, a lethal attack. Even even though Josh gained some life with Corsair. But I think I might. There's nothing Josh is going to draw that's going to be a, a problem. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hunt. And then if, uh, if that resolves. Now I will attempt to just kill him. I could wait a turn. Um, but I really don't think he has anything. And I can always bounce the knuckle blade. Okay. Like, if he had anything, he probably would have interacted on our turn somewhat. Or, on, sorry, on his turn so that before we untapped. Or just, um... Yeah. Alright, so still didn't cast back to nature. Teamer Charm is so good in this matchup. I just I don't know about it in any other matchups, but it is so good in this one. It's probably awful against like heroic decks and such. But it is just like it's the best card in this matchup. This hand is really good. Wooded Foothills is 100% fetching a forest, so I'm going to do that on uh, the first turn. Yeah. Thin my deck. I don't really need any other lands. Also gives Josh a little bit of the fear that we'll have a turn one Elvish Mystic. Cast that face up. Next turn we can cast an Ash Cloud Phoenix. I'm not particularly interested in casting Knuckle Blade and hasting it. Might have been a mistake to to play the um, land before playing the Wayfinder. Um, all right, so because like if he doesn't have a cut, which he probably does, but if he doesn't have a cut, um, he would have wanted to play the third temple that turn. Now it doesn't matter if he has a cut or not because we get to just Ash Cloud. And Ash Cloud does not die easily. Doom Lake Giant, not fun right now. It's not cool, bro. Is he going to attack with the Seder? Yeah, no blocks. Ah, Paulo Kronos. How I love you. How I will not be playing you this turn. 
think I just play Knuckle Blade, give it haste and attack, but I'm not a hundred percent on that. Um, I have to think this through. This is a, a difficult line. So if I play Knuckle Blade, haste it, attack for eight. Then Josh Doomwake Giants kills my guys. Um, I think Knuckle Blade gets more damage in. But Paulo Kronos might be better in the long run because it can fight stuff. But then again, getting more damage in might be might be really important. Yeah, I think I want to maximize my damage output. Blue. Haste. Savage Knuckle Blade is just one of my favorite magic cards. Oh wow, he gets another Doom Wake. That's not going to be fun. I mean, it'll be totally fine, but it's not going to be fun. Yes, good, attack with the Corsair. Um, I have to to creator clause to creators clause the doom wake here. Then I'll get in for six. <laughs> case maybe that's fine boon cedar lets me attack into oh murderous cut is on top this is definitely a game arbor colossus okay well back to nature is going to be big soon um, but right now I think I just attack for eight. Mm, no, I don't attack. Wait. Well, no, I definitely attack. Um, because I can bestow. Is that right? Yeah. I can bestow if my opponent wants to trade. Um, I would bestow or pump. <sighs> I think I pump. So that I don't tap out and don't run into a Doomwake Giant. That might have been a mistake. To attack. I probably should have just played Polycratos or something. Okay. Come on. Kill my Phoenix. Yes, that resolves. 
Okay, so I need Josh not to have another land here. Uh, which would force him to fetch away the uh, Horn Queen. Yes. Good. Now hopefully he doesn't have Horn Queen. Ah, another murderous cut. That is gross. Cast the Doom Lake Giant. Cast the Doom Lake Giant. Yes. Nope. Yes. Got to cast that card. It was as amazing as I expected. Um, so I can't cast both Rattle Claw Mystic and Boon Seder due to not having triple green. So I will just cast Polukratos. And it'll get cut, but that's reasonable. I have another one. Was this the mold of five? No. Okay. Mold of five was last game. That's unfortunate. That's a really good card to fight through some hornets. Sarkhan is excellent at um at fighting through hornets. Um I'll respond. Kill Hornet. Um Sarhan is, is excellent at fighting through Hornet Queen. Oops. Sorry about that. The um the client just crashed. So uh Sarkhan was excellent at fighting through hornets because he can plus one and attack and um when my opponent blocks, they then can't, uh, you can't kill them on the crackback uh, if I kill one of their hornets. Or they have to tap tap out entirely to kill the, uh, the Sarkon, which lets me um, attack with any remaining creatures I have. So, Sarkon's actually not bad against Hornet Queen. Not fantastic, because in a vacuum... Uh, he plus ones and attacks. Opponent blocks with one hornet and then attacks him for five next turn, but that's uh that's not the case here. I'm getting to take it down a hornet with uh with Polychronos before I untap and cast Sarkon. Sarkon, the dragon speaker. He speaks to dragons. He also apparently becomes one, so don't know how that works flavor-wise, actually. It's kind of interesting. Like, he, he transforms into a dragon, but, like, how does he do it? Does he, like, actually shift into a dragon? Does he take the essence of the dragon into himself? I don't know. Magic is kind of weird from a flavor standpoint because there are a lot of things that it just explains away. But I think there's a book. I think there's a, a novel that um, about cons of Tarkir. I'm not sure though. But if there is, it probably explains kind of what goes on when Sarkon changes into a dragon, so. <sighs> Anyways, weird tangential curiosity over. We're getting back into the game, which I'm uh, almost certainly falling behind. 
in, but that's uh, that's okay. The deck can beat Hornet Queen, but that doesn't mean that it will every time. Sarkon is definitely a, definitely a guy, though. Might have to restart it again. No, okay, we're good. So, sorry about that. Um, it's kind of an issue I have with Magic Online that everyone has with Magic Online, actually. I think. Uh, wait. Okay. I, I thought it just shortcut it for some reason. All right, cool. So what do we have here? Courser. Well, it's problematic for my um. Let's not lose Sarkon plan. Two, three, four, five, six. Actually, no, seven. Sure, I'm dead. It's a double check, but I think I just die. Even if I cast Sarkon. Well, okay, I'm not 100% dead because I can cast Sarkon minus three on the Hornet Queen, then chump block the Courser. That's my only line, but then I need something good after that because I'll be at two. And my opponent will have an Arbor Colossus. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'll be at two, Josh will have an Arbor Colossus, and I actually don't think I have any outs. Unless he decides to kill Sarkon. Okay. Well, that's good. I still don't have any outs. But... Air, flash in Boon Seater, or cast Paul. Yeah, I'm dead no matter what. Alright, well, that's the uh, second match. We're, uh, we're four and four in games, um, but one two and matches uh, Josh's Josh's advantage, but it's okay. We still have two more matches in the series, so I can still stage a comeback. Um, Josh said that he finally figured out how to sideboard, and in between matches, we were chatting a little bit. So um, that's kind of problematic for me, like. I mean, in prob what it probably means, even though we have a really small sample size, what it probably means is that he was sideboarding improperly in the first however many games, like the first match and, uh, and game or two. And then that was why I was winning. 
but I'm not entirely sure. We'll uh, we'll see. I'll be back for uh, for the next couple of matches.